Hey, what's up guys? So today we're going to be going over a quick little review slash overview of Ninja Lol, the new game that just recently came out on the Nintendo Switch that I was live streaming. A lot of you guys were like, what the heck is this game? And you know, is it any good? Is it worth downloading? So first off, let me go ahead and rapid fire answer these questions. First off, the game is completely free. As far as the gameplay goes, what kind of game is it? It's kind of like a third person brawler with some hero elements. The reason why I say it's kind of like a game where it has hero elements is depending on what weapon you choose, which we'll go into a little bit later in the video, I just want to go ahead and first off kind of explain the thing so you're not completely lost, is that different weapons will have different uh, abilities. You'll see in the bottom right all of our abilities with the cooldowns and there's also an ultimate that you'll be able to have. Ultimate is like this giant beam. What you're seeing right here is basically when you collide into an enemy, you pick a certain direction and it's kind of like a rock, paper, and scissors. So one uh you know direction will counter another direction but pretty much you're trying to look to go ahead and get kills but also acquire these little ninja orbs that will uh, essentially refill what i want to basically call mana which is in the bottom left we have our hp bar which is that little sliver right now that you're seeing in blue but there's also these little orbs that you'll pick up which will give you mana it does technically regenerate over time if you want to call it stamina it's kind of the same thing you can also swap into a prop I'm not really sure what they were thinking with it. I really want to say that they were trying to capitalize on what was popular because they have a battle royale mode which will show gameplay off. Uh, but first I want to go ahead and explain things in this team mode because I think the team mode is a lot more fun. However, most people are playing the battle royale mode. But nonetheless, they kind of mix in, I guess if you want to call it prop hunt because when you're low, I guess you can kind of try to heal up. But Generally, you'll be better off running around trying to go ahead and pick up those orbs because it'll give your team points. And when you get more points, that's going to be what determines the winner. There's a lot of other factors that go into how they uh, score who's actually the winner over here. But nonetheless, the little bar that we have on the bottom left, our mana or stamina, that yellow one, that one will be able to be built up. You can see I just used my ultimate, which is a giant like a uh, beam. But that bar will actually be able to be built up when you collect these apples. Uh, and what you're able to do is upgrade your weapon to make it a little bit stronger and uh, you'll also be able to upgrade your base abilities like I have this ability where I can shoot out these little like ninja kunais but in addition to that when I upgrade my weapon I'll be able to fire out more than just uh, a few of them and I'll fire out more of them so it kind of just upgrades your uh, kit uh, so to speak but as far as the game goes there is a cool amount of customization I do think the art style definitely fits the game but in terms of the game, uh, as far as me returning to the game to play it like, you know, 10 hours a day or something, I think this game was fun for the short amount of time that I played uh, with the game. It kind of just feels like a rock, paper, and scissors element system that requires you to be kind of fast on the timing to know where your opponent is positioned and trying to be able to react as quickly as possible. But with the lag that exists in the game, again, because it's the Nintendo Switch, you're unable to also, you know, call out. Otherwise, you'd have to have like Discord or you have to use a third party app. It's just how the Nintendo Switch Online works. I'm sure a lot of you guys know what I'm talking about. When If you make any game that kind of needs to be team based, it's a little bit more difficult in the Switch because then you have to get everyone on Discord and then the friend invite code, you have to like, it, it's just just a mess really this is actually one of the first times i've played on the nintendo switch online in a long time and i'm just like they're just so behind and i'm gonna go move my cam over to the left side because i accidentally had a wrong overlay on uh when i was recording this because i was in a different menu but over the top right you can see the score now that doesn't actually determine who wins until they finally calculate the score at the very end but i'll show you guys the battle royale mode i just kind of wanted to explain what the heck is going on and the ins and outs so you pick a direction and you hope that your opponent is picking another direction um sometimes depending on the way your character's position you might want to not get hit into a wall so you'll expect them to hit you a certain way so there is a little bit of play to it it's not 100 percent rng but especially with the lag there's a lot of times where it'll feel like that, uh, for sure. But you can see on the top right, the amount of points that one team has generated. Uh, I'm going to call it blue versus uh, yellow. It's just easier. But one of them is technically a dragon, and the other one's a tiger here. But you can see right now, uh, connecting, yeah, uh, that one team definitely had more points over here. You can see that the tigers had more points. Therefore, you, just, you should think, oh, okay, well, the, the, then the tigers won. That's not actually the case over here, uh, because when it calculates like all these other points, uh, it factors in something else, and that actually will be determining the winner. But um, you know, I'll go ahead and add up all the points at the very end, and then uh, our team actually took the win over here. So that's my character with the uh, red uh, long pigtails. But uh, nonetheless, let's go and hop into the battle royale mode. I'm gonna let that full gameplay play out, and I'll show you guys the ins and outs uh, of the customization and the other menus in this game. All right, so let's go ahead and collect those those points. So 
So we're in first place. Oh. Uh, that guy's gonna take that one. This one's gonna be up. Let's go ahead and attack this one. So we'll attack this up. It'll give us extra mana, which is the little thing in the bottom left. When we get enough, we can upgrade our weapon. But this one's gonna be up next. Let's see if I can get this kill on this guy. Oh, I guess this guy works too. As long as he's low. Oh, we just dashed right past him. Still want to try to take him out. But we're in a lot of AoE right now. And what we got kind of stunned over there. Just trying to get that guy down. I'd hit him in the wall. I could probably need a reset here. So yeah, we'll die and get a reset. So in the battle royale mode, it's a relatively small map. So we'll try to get oops, the upgrade as much as we can. I don't know why it's targeting that guy, but it is. I don't really know what the coin of turning into the pop is, to be honest. Get him. Yes, we got him. That's our ulti. Break this. So now we can go in and craft our big weapon. I'm trying to target this guy because he's lower. Sweet. The range attack doesn't do too much damage. I'm gonna get that guy. It's weak. But sometimes this game with its targeting be quite difficult. really low for there too. Let's go. There we go. Oh, we should probably get out of this. Got it, boys! There we go, first place! <laughs> Alright, so now that you've seen both of the game modes, I'm going to go ahead and briefly go over the little hub that you have uh, in the game. So you have the ability to go ahead and battle, and I can just go ahead and move my cam maybe uh, over on to the no cam here so nothing is being blocked so you have a few different ways that you can play you can do the battles of battle royale or team battle there's just two modes as of right now you can do free match or ranked match and you can select the maps that you want right now there definitely seems to be a lacking of content in the game it is a free to play game i'm sure they'll add more maps maybe some more modes but as far as the battle royale mode goes as you guys saw 
you have a respawn, it's basically free for all. It really shouldn't have been called Battle Royale. I think they were just trying to capitalize on the trend. However, you can do custom rooms and you can go ahead and go to training, which is kind of cool too. Now, I mentioned before that uh, depending on what weapon that you select, you'll have these different abilities, which is actually a really cool feature of this game. It's actually one of my favorite features um, that they didn't lock anything um, in terms of the weapons. Like you have these different weapons and you'll see some of them over here. If I uh, hit Y, I, I can select a different skin and that's kind of cool. It's just cosmetic. And I earned all these by just playing in the uh, game. I didn't have to pay real money here. But you can see that some of these will have different abilities. And if I go ahead and uh, do the uh, show attributes over here, you can see what the heck they do. You can also see the different stats of the weapons here. So th there is more uh, gameplay to be seen uh, with the different weapons. Some of the skills will overlap, and I think that that's totally fine. I wish that we could have fully customized everything. That way we got exactly what we would want. But even the auto attacks are different. There's also these uh, perks over here. Let me go ahead and actually select one of these different perks. You'll have to unlock these uh, with some of the currency and you'll see the required materials. I could unlock some more, but I'm kind of waiting to see if they uh, actually modify some of the um, perks or something because sometimes games they get passed relatively quick but you can see this one uh, will start you with extra s energy that is our mana or stamina we are able to, with this perk over here to absorb life from our foe when attacking so if you want to think of it like life steal that's called life drain it's kind of the same thing so there are a bunch of different perks that you can acquire in the game uh, by just winning games you'll get these little currencies you can see uh, i have only three gold but i have tons and tons of the silver and uh, bronze so there's a little bit more customization to your character and as far as uh changing the way your character looks there's a decent amount of customization again i earned all of these uh for free i didn't spend anything here but you can actually unlock a lot more i just don't have that many here uh in the very beginning as i have just played the game the game literally just came out and a lot of people wanted my feedback on the game so i'm here to give it to you guys so I like the customization, and you can rotate the character, and uh, when you do create your character, um, you can change the way that your character looks later down the line, but I'm not sure if you can go from male to female. Uh, now, in the game, it does offer a battle pass too, uh, which is kind of cool, and there's also like a, like a, a gotcha mechanic called the gumball machine over here, as you guys can see, and we'll briefly dip into it. Uh, this game is a free-to-play game, so we, we, let's go ahead and just uh, open up one, uh, since we happen to have some of the currency. I didn't actually... Uh, open up any of these yet, but because it's a free-to-play game, I expect there to be some sort of microtransactions. There it is, guys. So I guess we got the Shinobi gum baked. Uh, so it's just a variant uh, of one of the items in the game. Okay, and uh, oh, we you get more than one in the uh, the gotcha. Oh, that's cool. You get oh, wait, how many do you get? Okay, that one looks pretty cool. Um, it says flame. I'm not sure if that actually modifies anything but the cosmetics. Oh, wow, we got a lot of these. Swirl gum black. Wait, how many did we open? And how many does it give you out of the, the one pack? Oh, okay, so we got a different camo one. Okay. Okay, well, that that's, that's quite a bit. You get a decent amount for just opening up one. I was expecting, you know, maybe like one or three, but the fact that we got that many, hey, I would say that that is pretty generous. But um, that is uh, the, the gotcha mechanic in the game. They also, like I said, they have a Ninjala Pass, which is like their variant of the Battle Pass. And you can go ahead and check the rewards. I have to look down to check because I'm always used to Xbox where X is where Y is and Y is where X is. They kind of reverse them on the Switch, right? But if you want to see, just in case anyone wanted to see, what's the tier 100 reward, right, for the Battle Pass? Uh, this is currently the uh, the reward. And I think it looks kind of cool. It's definitely one of the coolest looking uh, ones in terms of the... Uh, cosmetic scope. One thing I also want to mention that there is technically a story mode to this game. It's basically just fight off waves of enemies. It's not what I would consider like a, a full single player experience. It's just kind of fight off waves of enemies. So I'm not going to be covering it here and I just wanted to make this video a multiplayer review. So let me go ahead and basically give you guys my thoughts on what I had experienced. So in terms of the game's visuals and sound, I think they did an excellent job. There's a lot of funny things that will be happening in the background here uh, with some of the characters, especially the cat. And I do like it. I think that they definitely have this niche type of art style that's really cool, similar to Splatoon. Uh, but in terms of it being like a next battle royale game that is going to be the next big thing, I don't think we're going to see it here. It does definitely offer a very unique experience, unlike most battle royale, which is basically just going to be like a third and or first person shooter experience. So 
There is a little bit of fun with this game for some people, and I think that one thing that I really gotta give them praise to is they didn't lock any of the weapons immediately or any of the um, different cosmetics uh, that you'll be able to unlock. I'm not sure exactly if there are specific things that will only be locked to the battle pass as I have not opened up all of the gacha items. Uh, but in terms of the gameplay experience, it seems like it's relatively fair in terms of earning uh, some of the perks with the customization. However, with the battle pass, there is definitely other things that you'll be able to acquire, which will probably let you unlock these faster as some of the medals are rewards from the battle pass. Not necessarily what I would consider pay to win, but pay for a quicker advantage definitely does seem to exist. But those are my thoughts on the game in terms of its uh, mechanics. But I do like that, again, you get all the weapons at the start, you can earn cosmetics in the game as you progress. But the main thing that I'm not so much a fan of is the actual gameplay. It comes down to what it feels like from a experience just again day one is a lot of times you're just kind of swinging around Lots of times you're getting third partied. It needs to basically force you into situations where it's a 1v1 or even a 2v2 I think would be much better for this game to feel a little bit more fair and you're not getting third partied all the time. But that's kind of how battle royale games work so I guess that's why they're calling it a battle royale mode. But for the most part, I think it is a game that a lot of people will hop into, play a little bit, and then dip out. Heck, day one, I was not getting enough players to get a lobby in the quick match. I wasn't getting enough players, and it would boot me right back. My cam is, oh, opponent not found. So it just kicks you out of the lobby? Wow, that's a great game, dude. Your stamina bar, if you want to call it that. So the problem is, is this game is free to play, and there's no one playing the game. And that's really disappointing as a free-to-play game to not have enough players day one. Very, very disappointing in my opinion. And it could be the servers, they could be having issues, but nonetheless, I just didn't feel like this was the next-gen game that I'm really excited about and could play for multiple hours a day. It was kind of fun to mess around with for like an hour or two, but uh, I don't see myself coming back in its current state. Maybe if they can make uh, the game add a little bit more content than just two of the modes. I know that there is a story mode, but you have to pay for that, so I'm not going to include it here. Plus, uh, from what I saw, because I saw the gameplay, I I'm not interested in purchasing it. But I do love the artwork and I do love the style of the game for what it is. Usually I'm more of a fan of like Quake and Unreal types of graphics versus like cute Nintendo stuff. But when you're having this 4v4 hero mode uh, or even 2v2s, I think voice chat just really needs to exist on the Switch, especially if you're trying to coordinate things. But at the end of the day, people are going to be using Discord anyways and, you know, they'll be able to communicate through that. But I just feel like... The core gameplay experience just wasn't for me, but I think there can be a niche audience for this game as it is, again, something very different to the uh, genre. But a lot of people will definitely feel like it's rock, paper, and scissors, uh, you know, clown fiesta with everything with all the VFX going on. It's really hard to kind of determine what's going on. It's almost like an aerial combat mixing with For Honor with cutesy wall running ninjas I, that's the that's the best way i can really put it here because there is definitely a system where it tries to implement a little bit more skill but again with nintendo switch's wi-fi i don't know it's not the most reliable let's be honest but that's my thoughts and my impressions on the ninja lol game just as like day one experience but you guys can let me know how you feel about the game down below hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did drop a like on it if you're new hit, hit subscribe turn that bell so you don't miss out when we cover new free-to-play games on the switch or wherever they are on I will catch you in the next video. Have a good one. I'm signing out. Peace.